As this skyrocketing cost of housing impacts people around the country, it's also putting a big strain on active duty service members and their families. Now, Congress is pushing to expand access to affordable military housing and to increase funding to help cover the cost. Channel 2 Samantha Manning joining us live now from Washington, D.C. And Samantha, there, there are several different bills out there right now to try and address this problem. Yeah, George, the Defense Department gives a housing allowance to service members and their families to help offset the cost of housing. The problem now, though, is that many of these military families say it hasn't kept up with the rising inflation, especially in high cost areas. With rent rising at the fastest pace in decades, it's harder than ever for many Americans to keep up with housing prices. And active duty service members and their families are no exception. We hear it all the time, not just housing costs, but meeting the actual rising costs of living, of everything. I spoke with Tom Porter from Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America about the need to help military families. Congress is now considering several proposals to expand access to affordable military housing and to increase housing allowances, which vary based on location, pay grade, and the amount of dependents. Oftentimes we're hearing that those allowances aren't covering the actual cost of housing for the military families. A bill in the House and Senate would extend the Defense Department's temporary housing allowance increase in areas where the cost of living is over 20 percent from the allowance. Another package of bills in the House focuses on restoring full housing benefits and removing barriers to home ownership for military families. Washington State Congresswoman Marilyn Strickland serves on the House Committee on Armed Services. She introduced the package dubbed Ensuring Every Service Member Has a Home. The people who wear the uniform and their families who sacrifice so much should be securely housed. A goal veterans groups say is a top priority. That would be significant in retaining those quality uh, and committed military personnel and their families. And several of these proposals in Congress do have support from both Democrats and Republicans. We're live in Washington. Samantha Manning, Channel 2 Action News.